Hi, my name is Bishaka The Hall, and I am a chemistry student at Stony Brook University, class of 2025, and I am conducting research under Dr. Stanislas Wong in the College of Arts and Sciences Department of Chemistry, and I am doing research with high entropy nanoparticles for battery applications. Our lab primarily focuses on the synthesis of materials to replace limited resources, such as the lithium commonly found in household batteries, and our goal is to use more abundant transition metals to replace those over time. Growing up in New York City, I've always been pretty active in my local community, and for the longest time, I thought I was going to be a lawyer, I want to change the system, I'm going to make some great change in the world, in the human service field. And then I realized, like growing up and then going to university, that even as a scientist, if I just make the tiniest contribution, even if it just ends up a footnote on a paper, maybe a century later, and I'm not even alive for it, it's still a greater contribution to the humanitarian sector. So I felt like that was very appealing to me going into research. This summer, I focused on synthesizing nine or more element high entropy oxides, which means I used nine or more metal precursors with either solvothermal or microwave assisted techniques. And altogether, once they undergo very high temperatures, they'll create a single crystal with extremely high entropy. And then I characterize these with X-ray diffraction or XRD to see and analyze like the different crystal planes. And they're taken over to BNL or Brookhaven National Laboratory for scanning electron microscopy or transmission electron microscopy. And I take those images and I see how the crystals turned out and I refine the process as I go on. I would say being a Valet Fellow definitely enhanced my college experience simply through the fact that I got to meet so many different women of different um, backgrounds and different disciplines. Like I never knew how neurons were prepared for biology research and I don't think I ever want to know that again. And the same with knowing that there's other subatomic particles other than protons and neutrons, electrons. I didn't know what a quark was until I met people who were doing research in physics. And so I feel like all of that was very valuable and it was a very positive experience overall. Well, I've definitely considered doing an MD PhD because I'm really interested in materials chemistry, but I'm also really interested in materials chemistry for biological applications. And there are aspects of my lab that do this, but overall I wanna take the techniques that I have learned over the summer and hopefully apply it to a research lab in the future as well and use what skills I've learned from chemistry and apply it to the biological field as well. I would like to thank the Francis Belay Fellowship and the Panafil Foundation for supporting my summer research. And I would also like to thank the faculty at the College of Arts and Sciences for making this collaboration possible.